at more partnerships. It is just the first partnership that is delivering in the first phase. First partnership in the first phase to deliver 32 daughter stations and three mother stations. Our sister company, NFDC Retail, is also looking at delivering over 50 because they are the ones actually into the retail uh, station uh, business. Over 50 of such locations. Not to talk of other companies that are now approaching us even outside the NMPC. And we also had, even in, uh, during the commissioning of the 12 uh, uh, data stations, CNG data stations, that the group CEO made mention of the fact that there are many LNG plants that will be coming in order to expand the reach of the CNG stations across Nigeria. The aim, ultimate objective, is to reach all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. So in a nutshell, it is not just 32. That one is just the first partnership and the first phase of what NGML, which is just a tiny fraction of NMPC, is doing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I will address uh, um, questions uh, around um, compensation, security, and uh, the competition period. So let me start with security. Uh, I just want to say this, this is one of the best design pipeline uh, it can compete with any pipeline constructed anywhere in the world. Because in terms of quality, in terms of the, um, the detailed engineering, um, infrastructure associated infrastructure that comes with the pipeline. This pipeline has a data system, intrusion detection, it's going to be good. Oh, okay. It's going to be uh, it's 1.5 meter deep. You understand? And in rivers, it's not just uh, an open port. It's horizontal directional drilling. In River Niger, it's um, direct pipe uh, uh, installation. You understand? So it's, it's, it's a highly technical, um, I just don't want to go into details. In terms of the security architecture, why would uh, to now only incidences? Of course, there are little bit incidences here and there which have caused little, little delays. But the act, there is a security architecture that we don't want to divulge here, and we've been working safe. You know, and anytime there are issues, we ensure that people people come first. You understand? So, so we've been managing that, and um, that's why we have achieved this. Um, um, success, or that's what we have been able to achieve what we have achieved today. In terms of compensation, you know, issues along the right of way, it's an ongoing thing. You know, you will never know anywhere in the world issues related to um, uh, communities along the right of way, you know, but one thing we've learned in this project is stakeholders management, and we have carried people all along the right of way. In situation where we have um, uh, compensation related issues, maybe, uh, maybe one or two people, but that has also been resolved, or we can, as the company, resolve it. You know, no matter what you do, issues will come. But the best thing, the key thing is how we are able to resolve it and stay in peace with those people. Because at the end of the day, they are going to, they are still with us. The, the pipeline will pass through, to, uh, pass through their communities 20 years from uh, now, they will not be here, but they are there. So that engagement is, you know, I mean, uh, we, we understand that and that's why we are carrying them along. You know, then the issue of um, uh, the completion period, Q1 2025, we have achieved 73, uh, 73% of the and completion of the remaining. So basically, um, those are the two uh, issues that we have raised. Thank you, Thank you uh, So we take no rounds of questions. I think we are good with time. This is supposed to end 1220 and then we go for the QA. So we've already started uh, the QA and it's 1220 now. Yeah, thank you very much.
to be a representative being the speaker. Yeah, my question um, has to do with engagement. When we talk about um, most governments 